Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make surface imperfections in Lumia. This video is part of my tips and tricks module from my Lumion render course. So if you'd like to get more videos like this one, I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below so you can get access to it. This was a lesson that many people kept asking me to do. Because as you know, the real world, surfaces are full of dust, fingerprints and other imperfections and randomness that you don't get in the 3D world. Computer generated images are with perfect edges, perfect clean surfaces. This is why usually 3D renders feel that something is missing and it's not realistic. Because our eyes are so used of seeing those in the real world, but when they are missing from a 3D render, our eyes are quite good at detecting these missing details. This is a texture without any surface imperfections. And this is the same texture with surface imperfections. You can tell the difference, right? For starters, I have to say that this technique is not the ideal one and takes a bit more time to make, in comparison to other render engines. But as you know, Lumion doesn't have an extra slot for a detail map to add these detail imperfections. But honestly, I think it gets the job done. So I went to the site Polygon. As you know, I recommend you getting very high quality textures and this site is one of them that you can get these textures. So for this lesson, I'll be using one texture of wood and I'll be using this, uh, let's see. I'll be using this one, wood flooring 044. It's free, so you can download. So when you go here, you can select the size you want and download. And we'll be using the diffuse, the gloss and the normals. Then you can go here to surface imperfections. And as you can see, you have a lot of these surface imperfections. Okay. You have some that are free and others, let's see if they have anything else free. So they have this one as well. It's free and uh, this this one as well so but i'll be using this one these scratches and this one here so you load this uh, main textures in photoshop actually we don't need this one the um, diffuse we just need for now the gloss and the normal and uh, what we're going to do we'll go to the gloss and we'll load these textures the imperfections well actually now let me put Ctrl A, Ctrl C and paste here. And now I'm going to get the other texture. So the, these scratches. And what I'm going to do, disable this one. And this one I'm going to put it as multiply. And this one I will put as well as multiply. Okay, now we have this. But actually I want to duplicate this layer so I can just drag and drop here to the bottom or just press Ctrl J on the keyboard, okay? So it will be a little bit more um, visible, this uh, dust. And the gun scratches, the same thing, I want to duplicate, but in this case, I want to make it bigger. So let's go here on the top and let's type 200%, okay? Let me zoom out. I'm just going to rotate a little bit about here, actually like this and for this small one I'm also going to press Control J okay so now we have here the scratches the small scratches the big one and the smudges so this is the main texture and all of this so now what we can do I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to shift click here this uh, folder so it will group all of them and let's just call this main. And now I'm just going to press Ctrl J to duplicate. And now I will merge all of these layers. So I can just right click and here merge group. Okay, now it's all of this, it's in uh, just one layer. Okay, so this way we, if we need, still need to make some changes, we can always go back here and make the changes, but we have this in one layer. And now we need to press Ctrl A and Control C, and now we go to the normal map, and on the green, let's invert the green, and press here to add a new uh, alpha channel, and paste. Okay, now we need to save this, 
as Targa. So with the 32-bit ch uh, channel. Okay. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Now let's go here to Lumion. And here we'll click here standard and let's select the texture. So this is the color. Let me just remove here the colorization so it's not gray and actually increase this map scale already. And I think about one, 1 1.2 it's a good size and uh, I also want to rotate it so here on orientation let's put the heading at 90 and now here on the normal map let's select the one we just made okay and now here let's press save changes you can see already some of these elements here okay so you see some scratches and some smudges here so it's uh, still a little bit subtle, but you want this to be subtle so it's not all over the place, like, like it's with dirt everywhere. So let's now go to photo mode and here. And so here you see the only when it's uh, all in the glossy parts, you can see these uh, areas, okay? Of course, this, for example, here and here, it's uh, way too much. One thing that you can do is go here, back. So let's go back. That's why we save this and let's say, let's disable all of them. And this one, it's okay. And this one, we can go here and add a mask. And now with a brush, let's start erasing some of it. Well, actually let's erase this part yeah. and just start erasing some of the parts. So you have a little bit more randomness in this even more randomness. So I'm using opacity 10%. You can increase a little bit more to about here, 25. So it's a little bit faster. Okay, let me put this one back. And to this one, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Maybe I'll erase completely on this area. I just put the opacity to 50% now, so it's a little bit faster. Maybe a little bit here. Okay, now let's add these scratches. This one is fine. As for these ones, maybe I will just erase all of them and just add these two here, back. Okay, so just these ones will be more visible. And as for this one, I can just add a mask and erase a little bit in some areas. Okay, now I'll duplicate again and press Ctrl E so it merges the layer. And now again, I will select all of it and copy and go back here and paste. And now I'm going to save this as Targa, but I'm going to give it a, another name like two. So we save the first one. Now when we go back here, let's go here and let's select the new texture, the new normal map, so the two. Okay, now you see that these effects are way, way more subtle. So I think like this it works much better. But again, it all, always depends on what you are aiming for. But let's see in the render. Okay, you see that now it looks uh, much more subtle, all of these effects. And this is probably the way you want to go. You want this effect to be subtle. You don't want to get it all over the place. And again, make it look like everything is with dirt or damaged. So just a slight effect is good enough. If uh, by any chance you are not able to download the textures from here, even though as I showed you that they have some free imperfections as well that you can download, you always have sites like CC textures. And on this one, if you go and browse the collection, you will see here that they also have some uh, imperfections. So go to categories and uh, you can find here on the bottom surface imperfections. So you see that they have, uh, I think it's 15 assets that you can download for free. This um, 
cups. This is very interesting to add, for example, to a, a countertop. And uh, of course you will not add all of this, but you can add like one or two and it will give more immunization to the scene. And so this is my process to create the surface imperfections in Lumion. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and if you like to get more tips and tricks like this one, you can sign up to my Lumion render course. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And I'll see you in the next one.